Good morning, Parkway family. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and your day of worship with God is restful. Today's scripture comes to us from Hebrews chapter 5, verses 5 through 10. So also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pray with me this morning. Creator God, first and foremost, we lift up the families of those who suffered tragedy in the shooting this past week, in the multiple shootings. We also lift up across the nation just all those who suffer for violence's sake, for just violence against them for no reason, who are suffering for evil, for no good. We ask that you would be with them, comfort them, send people to them. As we look now during this Lent season to Christ and this time of reflection over the, his acts and <clears throat> of service and sacrifice, may we also be inspired to be obedient even through suffering. Where Christ knows what it is to suffer at the hands of evil and suffer violence for violence's sake, that we too should not be surprised that we may have to face suffering in our efforts to be like Christ and to honor you. Help us always to see that you suffer along with us and it is not a removed thing. You are not aloof and far off. You are close at hand always. Thank you, Christ, for being the perfect intermediary for us the perfect priest, the perfect prayer partner. I ask that you would be with us today and every day. We ask all these things in your name, Christ, we pray. Amen.